Welcome back to today's programme. Now, the smog in Delhi is infamous. It's one of the most polluted cities on this planet. Visibility can be almost non-existent, breathing extremely difficult. So, what's the answer for India's capital or any other heavily polluted city around the world? Well, a Dubai-based architecture firm has come up with this. Vast air filtration pods, they say, could provide huge amounts of clean air every day. The project is now shortlisted for a World Architecture Award. Well, I'm joined from Dubai by the principal architect, Najma uh, Chowdhury. Thank you so much for your time and joining us on the programme. I know there's a little delay on the line here, but we'll talk about the how in a moment. First, though, for those that don't know it, Delhi, the pollution, the smog, it is terrible, isn't it? It is, it is. And uh, every time I go there, every time I go back to my home city, I kind of feel sad about the current state of uh, the city. And uh, people have accepted it as the new norm, but uh, it is pretty critical at the moment. And that's what's driven you to actually come up with these designs. So your idea, briefly describe it for our viewers. Uh, well, I am essentially from Chandigarh, and uh, I've spent my formative years in Delhi, and uh, every time I go down to Delhi, I kind of get bothered by the inactions of the government and uh, the fact that people have accepted this. And uh, that's what kind of propelled us to think out of the box, come up with a concept where you can actually take two different elements. One is the stagnant river Yamuna, or the contaminated river Yamuna, and the smog issue, and kind of generate electricity by uh, the river water and uh, to produce hydrogen to split the water and then propel uh, massive smog towers as a top-down intervention uh, to tackle the smog issue that you have in the city as of the now. And that kind of, kind of uh, cleans the air, makes it more breathable, and uh, uh, that's uh, what the concept is all about. We were looking at some of your futuristic designs on our screen as you were talking. You said uh, you don't mind being criticised, people are sceptical. How do you know it, it will actually work? Well, uh, it's a project for tomorrow. It's, uh, the idea about this project was essentially to uh, kind of present a dystopia, uh, to initiate a dialogue uh, within people and to make them aware that if nothing is done today for the uh, existing crisis, this is what the future looks like. And in principle, it works. In principle, you have uh, these hydrogen uh, generating sky bridge connected to the tower. And the bottom bit is the filtration pod, which kind of sucks in uh, uh, the air that you have. It has five different uh, layers of uh, filtration system. We have the pre-filters, we have the negative ion generators, we have the HIPAA filter, and then we have uh, the carbon filter. And at the top, where the, air, the clean air is blown out, we have the electrostatic uh, precipitators that kind of uh, clean the air. So we have, we have amalgamated essentially all five major ways of cleaning the air. And it, is, uh, it works through, through uh, producing hydrogen uh, through the sky bridge. Uh, and how much, that you have. how much clean air would it actually make? An because network through the, uh, how much clean air would it make? Because, uh, I mean, the authorities are trying things like dampening the pollution with water or, or trying to uh, have odd numbers and even numbers of cars coming into uh, the capital. Uh, aren't those better systems to try to, 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 to try and sort of make work? Well, uh, one of the, I mean, each particular tower is supposed to generate 3.2 million, as per the calculations we did, 3.2 million cubic meter of uh, fresh air every day. And uh, it's the reason we have a network of towers is because cleaning the air is just 5% of the job. It's containing that clean air, that's the 95% of the job. That's why you have multiple sources, to, uh, the factories, the cars, the crop burning in uh, up, uptown in Punjab, then you have uh, the dust storms from Rajasthan. So you have multiple uh, sources from which the, uh, uh, the, the polluted air comes in. And then you have a network, a grid network throughout, like, throughout the entire city. And as the air moves through this network, it kind of gets cleaner and cleaner as it comes uh, uh, within the city. So that's why uh, you see an entire hexagonal grid laid over uh, the urban plan of Delhi. 
Well, Najma's Chowdhury, uh, it is a fascinating idea. Uh, we will keep an eye on it because uh, it's not just Delhi. There are so many cities around the world uh, that have this problem. Thanks so much for joining us and uh, talking us through that idea.